Hey guys, uh, just a quick tip today on how to use remote debugging. Uh, remote debugging is basically using your um, WebKit developer tools within your own browser on a website or an application that is either in a different browser or even on a different device. Uh, this is pretty useful when you have something like a mobile device and you don't have a keyboard and a mouse to uh, maneuver around your developer tools. Um, so this is currently only available in the BlackBerry playbook, but um, there's people, everyone's pretty hopeful that uh, we're going to be seeing it in iPads and uh, all of the iOS and other um, tablets and phones. So I'm going to show you how to get it up and running just on your local machine. Uh, it's currently inclu included in the stable version of Google Chrome, so I'm going to use that as an example and then use Safari to um, inspect that browser. So what you want to do is pop open your terminal and we're just going to move over to applications. If you see I have all of my applications here. Um, basically what we need to do right now is just open up Chrome with a certain flag. So we're just going to do open Google Chrome dot app and then we want to use the args flag and one of those arguments is remote debugging port equals 9222 I'll hit enter and that'll open up Google Chrome for us we'll just go to, we'll just go to my site to take a look and now if I open up Safari you could really use any browser for this Ideally, in a mobile situation, Google Chrome would actually be the device, and your browser here would be you on your home computer. So if we go to localhost 9222, hit enter, you'll see that um, we have a little server running, and we have all of the tabs available. If we open up another one, refresh this page, you'll see that's added there. So I'm going to go back to this, my westboss.com one, click here, and this will be pretty familiar to you. Um, it's just our regular dev tools. So as you can see, I have Safari open as a window, and I'm able to inspect everything. I could change the black background to blue. I, you, can even, you can use all of the features of it, such as console. and that opens up in Chrome. So it's pretty cool. Looking forward to seeing that in uh, mobile devices pretty soon. Uh, but for now, I just thought I'd show you how to use that. Let me know if you have any questions, and thanks a lot.